Jessica is doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Mar uh, she said Marilyn instead of Marilyn. Uh, so she's using the uh, an A vowel rather than A because it should be Marilyn or Marilyn depending where you are, but it's not Marilyn. There was a bunch of people on Twitter and uh, social media saying that uh, the actress's accent is not that good. Uh, she sounds Spanish, whereas Norma Jean, who is Marilyn Monroe, was a native English speaker and she did not have a Spanish accent. So I'm gonna take a look at this. Uh, I'm gonna watch how um, Ana de Armas sounds. This is gonna be the first time I watch the video and I'll just react. And uh, this is my first time doing a reaction video as well. So uh, hopefully you can enjoy it. All right, let's look at this. Miss Monroe, it's time! Uh, he's... on the hand. How'd you get your start? Maybe. What start? In... I think she might have said, what a start. Let's listen to that again. Maybe. What start? What a start, what a start. There's a brief moment of uh right there, what a start. And that's a very common thing that happens in Spanish and Portuguese because they don't, they're not able to say uh, sta or spa, uh, an, an S sound and then a plosive like a putaca. So they, that's why they say a Spanish or, or um, a start. In movies. Quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. I guess I was discovered. Okay, here she said discovered. And she didn't use the vowel a. Uh, she uh, used the vowel a, uh, like discovered, which is more how you pronounce it in Spanish. And so she said discovered uh, rather than discovered, which a native English speaker would say. I guess I was discovered. See, discovered. It's like, it's slight, it's there, discovered. I guess I was discovered. I know you're supposed to get used to it. And we all lose our jobs in the end. But I just can't. Square cut or pear shape. These I've played Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Mm, I'm not sure how she uh, normally speaks. It's, it's an interesting way of, of saying Monroe. It's not a normal Spanish sort of way of saying O. But it sounds a bit strange to me, but I don't know how Marilyn Mon Monroe normally uh, like sounded in her films anyway. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Mar uh, she said Marilyn instead of Marilyn. Uh, so she's using the uh, an A vowel rather than A because it should be Marilyn or Marilyn, depending where you are, but it's not Marilyn, because in English we don't have an ah sound by itself. So it's not Marilyn, it's not Marilyn, it's Marilyn or Marilyn. Let's listen to that again. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn, Marilyn. Uh, I think she also said in, as, as well as in, in uh, instead of like uh, in, she said in. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. And uh, I think she said another instead of another. Again, kind of like discovered, but uh, it should be another with that uh vowel, not ah, uh, not another. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, it's very slight. Another instead of another. It's quite. It's quite close though. Marilyn doesn't exist. I'm not sure if she said exist or exist. Uh, it sounded a bit like exist, but it should be exist with a Z sound. Marilyn doesn't exist. It could be because she's kind of whispering it, but um, it still sounds a bit like an S to me. And in English, it would be exist, but in Spanish, you don't really have a Z sound, so oftentimes the Z becomes a S sound. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma G. I'm Norma Jean. Uh, okay, uh, stress kind of seems kind of interesting there. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma Jean. When I come out of my dressing room, it sounds a bit Spanish there, the intonation. When I come out from my dressing room. When I come out of my dressing room. Dressing room. 
dressing room. It should the it's a compound now, so the the stress should fall. I'm Norma Jean. I'm still hurt when the camera is rolling. I think she might have said camera. I'm still hurt when the camera is rolling. Oh no, that's okay. Exists on the screen. Oh, there. She said exists instead of exists. So she used an e sound instead of e, which is tough. A lot of languages don't have this dichotomy of e and e. And even when uh, you even uh, having a vowel that is like a e in English, it's not exactly like the tense English e. So um, uh, Marilyn Marilyn Monroe exists only on the screen is what she said. Uh, but it should be uh, Marilyn Monroe exists exists not exists. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe only exists on the screen. Marilyn Monroe only exists on the screen. Yeah, it's, it's very slight. It's actually kind of close to it, but it sounds a bit like i. Okay, so overall, I think that was okay. I mean, if she were my student, it would be great, but She's an actress uh, on the, the big screen for a very famous, uh, playing a role of a very famous person. So I can understand why people are concerned about it because it does, you can actually pick out that she has some Spanish things. Like when she said Marilyn instead of Marilyn, you're not gonna have your own name uh, be pronounced that way. You're not gonna pronounce your name as Marilyn unless you're actually a Spanish speaker because we don't have ah in English. We have a ah, Marilyn or Marilyn, depending where you are, but never Marilyn. Um, some of the things she said discovered or like another instead of discovered and another, which is, you know, the standard way of saying it. So there are definitely those small things, but uh, if she were my student uh, working on her accent, she should be proud of it. Um, but she is an actress uh, playing an English role and like it is, I can understand. I can totally understand why people would be concerned uh, and have some, there, there'd be some backlash against it.